Good morning, Baldwin Explorers. We are your hosts on this fantastic Friday, October 22nd, 2021. This is Zalon Jones and Lola Steele bringing you the Barton broadcast. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance in a moment of silence. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. If today is your special day, then we hope it's wonderful. Happy birthday. Here is what is being served in the commons today. Beef or chicken tacos, black beans, and corn. Please remember menu items are subject to change. Ms. Pouillet wants to remind you all that the entrepreneurship shop is now open for business. You are welcome to come and shop during fifth period most days. The shop may be closed on some Wednesdays due to meetings. Teachers, check your email each Wednesday to see if the shop is open. If she doesn't email you, then the shop is closed due to meetings. Thank you. Teachers, please share the Google Slides presentation to let your students know that businesses are available. A few new businesses have been added, so make sure you take a look. Students, you are only to come um, to the shop with provided form if you have enough money. Also, it is important that you bring the correct amount. Ms. Poe will likely not be able to make change. Thank you. This is Digital Citizenship Week. This week we will focus on how our digital activities can shape our world in a positive way. You will be participating in a nearby lesson with your English and language arts teachers at some point this week. You will be also be learning about this topic when visiting the library with Ms. Poe this week. Also, you will participate in a flip grade digital discussions about all the things you learned about digital citizenship. We look forward to seeing all the great activities and discussions taking place. Teachers, make sure to tweet out about these activities using hashtag DigSitWeek. Also, include the MCPSS Instructional Technologies Twitter handle so they can see all the great lessons taking place here at Barton. This week, we are also focusing on setting intentions of kindness. Ms. Smith has set up a kindness wall in the gallery on the second floor. Teachers and students may visit the wall through Friday. When you stop by, you are invited to add a word of kindness to the wall or take a note of encouragement with you from the past on positivity part of the wall. Let's keep the kindness going. Attention Explorers, there are a lot of exciting things happening at Barton. If you are interested in playing soccer, ask your teacher for an interest form. Forms should be turned in Ms. Ramsey by Friday. Running club is also starting soon. If you're interested in running, let your home teacher know so you can get an interest form. Anyone interested in cheerleading should complete the survey for Ms. Smith. Your teacher can give you the link to the survey. Archery is also starting soon. All students in grades 6 to 9 are eligible to participate. The first meeting will be Wednesday, November 2nd at 3.45, 17th. If you're interested in archery, let your homeroom teacher know so they can get an interest form. Interest forms must be turned in by November 12th. Ms. Hayes will be the teacher sponsor, so you can also ask her about any other details. It is now time to announce the winners of Homecoming Spirit Week. Sixth grade winners are Cash Tillman, Franklin Summer, Ask the Sing, Star Evans, Ella Couch, and Titus Hutto. Winners for the seventh grade are Ian Watson, Wayne Scott, and Lena Azizi. Eighth grade winners are Virgil Dale, Shamar Abrams, Tatum Hamlet, and Isabel Rippey. Ninth grade winners are Preston Burks, Graham Foster, Tavon Harmon Dixon, Riley Dunham, Deborah Ingram, Ryan Graham, and Caden Crittenden. The faculty winner is Mr. Dye. Congratulations to all the Homecoming Spirit Week winners. We are all proud to be Barton Explorers. Please stop by the office any time today to see Ms. Smith for your award. We also want to take time to acknowledge those who receive Exceptional Explorer Awards for Quarter 1. For 6th grade, we organized Jose Zuniga. 6th grade peers noted that Jose follows the rules and bar norms. He is always on task and doesn't complain about anything. He is always kind to other students. Greta Roddy. Sixth grade peers noted that Greta is supportive and tries to make friends with everyone. She is always doing what, is she, what she's supposed to do and follows directions well. She's kind, she's a great friend, a good leader, and an active participant in class. 
Madison James, sixth grade peers noted that Madison helps any student or teacher in need. She works hard, she's encouraging, responsible, neat, and tidy. Olivia Mosby, sixth grade peers noted that, noted that Olivia is helpful, nice, accepting, caring, funny, kind natured, and thinks of others. Congratulations to the sixth grade exceptional explorers. Madison, our seventh grade recipients for quarter one exceptional explorers are Ray Beck and Tully Peters. Seventh grade peers said that Ray is always helpful, friendly, and wants to make friends. Seventh grade peers said that Tully is friendly and wants to make sure everyone is doing their best. Congratulations, Tully and Ray. For eighth grade, we acknowledge Tatum Hamlet and Taylor about. Eighth grader said that Taylor is super sweet and caring. She is a great representative of our school. For Taylor, eighth grade said he is very intelligent and always prepared. Congratulations, Tatum and Taylor. And finally, for ninth grade, we acknowledge Riley Dunham and Micah Long. Ninth grade peers said that Riley is kind and goes out of her way to meet or talk to someone new every day. She wants everyone at Barton to feel welcome and wanted. Of Micah, a ninth grader shared this. From what I've seen, every class I've shared with Micah, he's been attentive, on track, and well-informed or interested in the subject. In classes, I sit next to him. He's always kind, helpful, and more than willing to take time to see others. This is why I believe that Micah has been such an exceptional student. Congratulations to all of these students. Exceptional Explorer Award recipients should stop by the office today at 2 p.m. to receive your award. We are proud of all our Barton Explorers, and we encourage you to keep making good choices for yourselves and towards others. It's now time to recite our quarter theme. Start, Start by, by doing, doing what's necessary, necessary then, then do what's possible, possible and, and suddenly you are doing the impossible. Now it's time to seize the day. We can't wait to see all the great learning taking place here right under the Barton Dome. Adventure, Adventure awaits. awaits.